We are almost one week out from the horrific Uvalde mass shooting last week. And some still believe, hey, something can be done to regulate guns to make these sorts of mass shootings less common. Joe Biden, the guy next to me, he thinks that something is is still possibly brewing. He says, I think things have gotten so bad that everybody is getting more rational about it. At least that's my hope. Now, if you've been watching me for some time, you might guess that I don't necessarily share that. Share that, but we're out, and then we're gonna dive into it and see if we think that he's onto something. He says, "I know I have responsibility. I can do the things I've done." But he noted that the Constitution gives only Congress the power to change the law, saying, "I can't outlaw a weapon. I can't change the background checks." Which, look, is it fair to point out that in the past he had seemed to have a different position on this? Tweeting. Uh, back uh, two days before the election, it's a long past time we take action to end the scourge of gun violence in America. As president, I'll ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines, implement universal background checks, and enact other common sense reforms to end our gun violence epidemic. Maybe he meant I'll be the one who signs the bill that Congress gets passed. That's a little bit weaker. Maybe that's why he didn't tweet that then. But he says um, he has not spoken with Republicans yet about finding a compromise. But my guess is they're gonna take a hard look. First of all, it's been almost a week. The idea that he hasn't even spoken to them yet, Jesus. But don't worry, they're gonna take a hard look. In fact, he says, take a look at like John Cornyn and uh, Mitch McConnell. He's a rational Republican there. Now as Nina Turner pointed out, this is what that rational Republican looks like, Mitch McConnell posing in front of a Confederate flag and everything. But like even without the imagery, Francesca, he hasn't even talked to them yet, but he's sure that this is different. Things have changed and we have these rational Republicans that are gonna do something. What do you think? I've been thinking a little bit about this and I've come to the conclusion that people become a Republican, not necessarily because they're into like, you know, the white ethno state or because they hate trans people or because they really love corporate tax breaks for corporations and millionaires and billionaires because they are not millionaires or billionaires. It's because the right wins. It's because the right when they're in power, they do stuff. And so if you had a choice, you know, it's it's like it's like being a fair weather a fan. What are you, who are you gonna pick? I know I don't know anything about sports, but you know I hear some teams are good at them. But like I do know politics, and if you just alien eyes looking at these two two teams, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go with the team that's like crushing it right now. Except mm-hmm. instead of the other one, instead of Democrats, who even when they elect Joe Biden, the most the safest, most middle of the road choice cannot get something so basic done. They lose every single time. Mm-hmm. And this is such a perfect ish example of it. My guess is he hasn't even talked about the filibuster yet either, as he t- spoke about it after the Roe v. Wade leak. Because we know what he would say, which is, no, we're not gonna, I don't think we should do away with the filibuster yeah. for this yeah. either. Uh, we're not going to do anything. Um, and on these two completely middle of the road issues that to be honest with you, Democrats have misled their base. They've misled voters about how well protected people were on both of these issues. I think on gun violence, sadly, especially children and and people who've been in these massacres have understood for a long time, the Democrats are kind of equally as bad faith because even though they, they say we need to do something about gun control, they're not actually going to do it. I don't know what's worse. It's a little bit like, mm-hmm. you know, like you admit that something is wrong, but you will admit that you're actually going to do nothing. Almost feels a little bit like salt in the wounds. Yeah, yeah, and like in terms of them not doing, like he hasn't even talked to them yet. Like, come on, dude, is that's that's your role in this? You're supposed to have a totally pointless conversation with them that won't lead to anything. That's you're not even doing your job at this point. Um, The uh, analogy that you made to sports, I think is actually fairly robust in this that (laughs) yes, they will follow along with this team, the Republicans, so that when the team scores a goal or whatever, they get to cheer, even though it doesn't do anything for you. Like, like I used to like the Patriots, but like the Patriots win, maybe I feel good. It's not like my life is better, nothing has happened. And actually, in terms of the analogy, they're mostly just getting you to support them so they can sponge off taxpayer revenue for new stadiums <laughs> and stuff. It's actually fairly similar. Um, 
But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I agree. And look, they're they're not really trying to do anything either. The Republicans are per that, that's why the commentary about this is a new moment. Everything has changed. I mean, sure, it is horrendous that so many kids were blown apart with this military grade weaponry, but at least something will have changed. No, at least nothing. At yeah. least nothing will have changed. Have you been paying attention to what these people have been saying? And I'm not asking the audience, they have, and we've covered many of them. But Joe Biden, have you been paying attention? Chris Murphy, and by the way, Chris Murphy's good on this issue. I'm sure that if it were up to him, he would do stuff. But he says every single time after one of these mass shootings, there's talks in Washington and they never succeed. But there are more Republicans interested in talking about finding a path forward this time than I have ever seen since Sandy Hook. So. It reminds me of the Tobias Funke thing from Arrested Development that these people delude themselves into thinking that this time will be different, but but maybe this time will be different. <laughs> That's not how times work. That's certainly not how American politics work. No, especially um, when they go on recess for a week and or whatever it is for Memorial Day right after this happens. Like, can you just postpone that a little bit? Is that gonna throw everything off? Wow, their agenda is so packed, John. Cause like, swear to God, they were gonna like do something. Like we're now, you know, it, it would have delayed their delayment mm -hmm. of the um, partial passing of the Build Back Better bill that they will never pass. It will delay, like, what are you waiting for? What are you delaying? Yeah. What do you have to do, take this recess for? And 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 it's here's what I think I've come across like come down to this soul searching moment of like mm -hmm. we knew that electing Joe Biden would be exactly this right I don't think there were stars in any progressive's eyes about how much he could or could not get done and I think now we have more in common and it's kind of ripe terrain to actually let some of these middle of the road liberals who were otherwise comfortable who felt like things like Roe v Wade were settled law, who felt like sure maybe gun control were kind of lagging, but we're getting there and we've got our you know the best interests at heart. That's mm -hmm. all been imploded. We now have a huge, huge inroad, I mean a opening for progressives to actually take the reins of power. And I know it's at a moment where we all wanna be more cynical about electoral politics. And we should be, we should always have this inside outside understanding of outside pressure inside yeah. electoralism. But like, this is the time to be like, oh no, no, no one has anything in charge. It is our time to make the case um, for why we need actual leadership. Because even these middle of the road things that are not radical, they're mm -hmm. not leftist. There's no way you could paint them as socialists. Hey, I don't wanna die in school. Mm -hmm. These are the priorities. Well, yeah, I, and look, hopefully they're listening to us. The issue is that the you know the mainstream media seems to understand that this is a potential opening, which is why they've been preemptively blaming the left for Biden's political troubles. Like a yes. moderate president failing, doing nothing is proof that the left can't be allowed to rule. That's that's what they're saying. Okay.